advice to my younger self would be to not compare myself as much to other students. At times it might feel like there are other people doing more stuff than you or it may sound like they know more than you, but at the end of the day, as long as you work on yourself and bettering yourself, you know, you can do it. So just have faith in yourself and try your best. Um, okay, so I think the advice I would give is that during your interview, if there's something that you feel like you don't understand, you can always ask the interviewer to repeat what they've said. And also, if you need a moment to, or like a minute to take out to think about what you're going to say, take that moment because you'd rather do that than ramble on and just say things that you're going to think back on and be like, I wish I hadn't said that. So just take a minute to think about what you're going to say and then say it. Hi, I'm Alina. I'm a third year medical student and my advice is to maintain a work-life balance in year 13. So you have your A-levels, your UK CAT and your interviews and that can get quite stressful at times. So just make sure you take time out for yourself. Hi there, my name's Josh. I'm one of the fourth year medical students and I'm on an integrated course. My advice to the year 13s would be to be confident when speaking in your interviews. Um, make sure you get lots of practice in with your fellow students or teachers. And I'm sure you know your stuff, so just be confident when saying your answers. Um, I'd say practice, practice, practice. Um, because each time you practice, you will just get better and more comfortable with it. So try as many questions as you can. Um, just be yourself, um, forget the fact that they're examining you, um, confidence is everything, so um, even if you don't know what you're saying, just look like you do. Hi, I'm Kishan, I'm one of the fifth year medical students, um, so just some words of advice for you as year 13 students starting on this journey. Um, I think it's important to remain confident, so don't let things dishearten you, it's quite early in the year, so in things with things like offers and things coming through in interviews, I think the best bit of advice is just to stay confident, um, and stay positive with things, I think that will help you. Um, and also with the interview advice, just um, don't be afraid to pause and think about things. Don't be afraid to ask questions to your examiners as well. Um, it shows that you've thought about things and offering a bit of initiative. Um, and also don't forget that you can always ask for them to repeat things if you, if you need them to. Um, but good luck with everything and I hope it all goes well for you all. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Sam, one of the fourth year medical students. I think one, one of the best pieces of advice is I ever got when I was planning on going to medical school is sort of how uh, key body language is, so if you can lean forward and sort of maintain, maintain uh, eye contact, that I found that was really helpful. Good luck, guys. Okay, so my top tip for MMI interviews, I've got two actually, really. So the first one is just be really confident. At the end of the day, um, that assessor is, and that interviewer is thinking, can this person be a doctor? So just be yourself, be really confident and just go in there like you own it. Don't be scared of the other people who you're interviewing with. Um, and the second one is, so when I interviewed, I really got all my words mumbled up on the first one. I got really, really nervous, got brain freeze, didn't know what to say. And that first station went really badly. So I guess my next tip is really, if you mess up on the first one, just come out of it. Um, take a breather and then just move on to the next station and think, there's a new station, I've got it and you'll be fine. And then my top tip would be just to practice as much as possible because no matter what anybody says, practice really does help. Um, there's lots of example interview questions online and in books and we talked about some today at the conference. Yeah. So think about what you're going to say to the questions in advance and that way you won't feel so on the spot when your interview comes around. Absolutely, yeah. Hi, I'm Babi, I'm a third year medical student and my advice would just be to go into the interviews and like have fun because you obviously, you know, you want to be a doctor so you know you're going to have to speak to people so you should, you should enjoy it because that's I think the only way you're going to get through it and just sort of take it as meeting new people like the interviewers, they are people, some of them might be funny so like get to know that part as well, like don't take it too seriously to just like enjoy yourself. Top tip, be confident with what you say. Um, the old adage goes, fake it till you make it. I think it rings true with interviews. All right, so I would recommend everyone in year 12 to really enjoy themselves in year 12 and meet as many people as you can because you don't know if you really want to do medicine or not until you've been through as many programs as you can. All universities are really out there to try to help you out to get into university. They're not trying to stop you getting into medicine. They really want you to come into medicine. So obviously make sure you get your grades and things. Then there'll be support out there. So go out there, go to unis and network and find new friends. Year 12 is all about enjoying yourself. My top tip would be 
it like just speak confidently and clearly and just keep maintaining eye contact with the interviewer. Mm, that, that's definitely really important. Um, also, just be really well prepared. I think there's definitely going to be ethical scenarios that come up, so it's important to kind of be aware of basic themes that might come up and like the pillars, um, so you're kind of prepared and you can bring them up in discussion about an ethical scenario. Yeah, and building on that, I just say try and be yourself. Don't put on too much of a front. It's very easy to come in and be kind of all very kind of statue like and act like a soldier. But be yourself. You've got an interview because we think you're good enough and we're just double checking whether that's the right call. So be yourself, stick to your guns, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Hi guys, my name is Jamila and I'm one of the third year medical students and my advice that I'd give you is to just seize the moment and never always say yes to everything. Um, take up every opportunity that you have and just like go with the flow. I think it's if you're meant to, if it's meant to be, it'll be meant to be. So definitely, um, I wouldn't worry about or stress about anything. And well, it's easy to say, but um, and just don't be disheartened by not getting in. There's always other ways. And but yeah, good luck to everybody who's applying.